G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Colt Python Pistol. This is a semi-highly customizable standalone revolver weapon, and it can be crafted by the player at a chemistry station under utility. Same with its ammo. This thing fires custom 357, which are added by this mod. There's none of those in vanilla, so that's pretty neat. We'll go ahead and get into these attachments. First of all, for the receivers, basically you've got the same thing as a um, standard 44 Magnum in the game with the four... Um, different increments of damage for the receivers, so that's probably equivalent to the advanced one. Now for the barrels, we're going to want to leave the standard to get the best range and accuracy out of it, at the expense of a little bit of weight. Now for the grips, all of these are cosmetic, they do nothing, so the zebra wood there actually looks kind of cool, so we'll leave that on. You can't really do much with the sight, except put a scope on it if you feel like it, and that'll give you a little bit more accuracy at range too, so yeah, why not, we'll build this one a little bit for range. Now you can change the finish of this, we've got a institute um, aligned mercenary here, so I feel like that is nice and appropriate, although the Brotherhood of Steel one looks really good too. Now, it's uh, for some reason this thing's got the same attachment points as a standard 44 Magnum, for whatever reason the modder decided to leave the Creation Club things in, that'll absolutely do nothing, won't even increase your stats, so that's just a waste of resources there, don't do that, and of course a legendary effect exists on it if you need it. We'll take this into Gunners Plaza, see how it does, and yeah, we'll grab another one too for closer ranges. Okay, here we are in Gunners Plaza, and this is the Colt Python up close in first person there. I'd like to mention how the uh, Institute skin gives it glow maps on the revolver cylinder there. That's kind of cool. Anyways, here's what we look like in third person with it. It's a pretty neat thing. It's all matching um, our outfit now, which is pretty good. Looks like the scope is going to be a short scope, so... Um, we'll get a good use of that by shooting at these guys from somewhat good ranges. Have they spawned in? They might have... Yeah, okay, they did already. Alright, so we'll go for a headshot there. 1k damage there. And slightly less, <laughs> slightly less now that we've got um, these guys in a state of um, somewhat aggro. So, luckily we were able to get that gunner easily there. And we've got another sneak tap put on there, although we did get those. Oh, fuck off turret, seriously? I'm sick of these bastards doing that. If there ever is a mod to remove all of this ridiculous camera shaking whenever these guys shoot in my general direction, I'd really appreciate that. Does anyone really know how to mod the camera around here? Surely there's a thing to do that. Anyways, we'll go ahead and take out this basic gunner there. She'll go down in one shot regardless, so not really paying her much mind there. But as, as we can scope in nice and accurately with this thing, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Obviously, um, it's got a quite low DPS considering its rate of fire. Why don't you peek out again, you don't bastard? Don't do anything stupid. Couldn't pacify him, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, whilst I'm hanging back here, this thing seems to be doing quite the job. I did grab an extra one with a snub barrel and iron sights to get close and personal. But for now, I think we're okay using this thing. A little bit of range. They don't seem to be dancing around too hard today. Alright, we'll switch over to our short snubby. And there we go. A little bit less damage there. Got a headshot there. 309 damage. So, yeah. I wasn't actually too keen on this thing actually being able to do all that much damage when I first picked it up. Because, obviously, that... Um, Hammer pulling animations to take some time, but if I can manage to actually be accurate with this thing, then yeah, this actually is quite a rewarding weapon. So if I actually sort of take my time and line up the shots, this thing is actually quite a nice skill cannon. So yeah, this is actually quite a surprise for me. Obviously, the sneak attack crits help quite a lot, and now that we've got a little bit more range, we can go ahead and take out these guys. I probably should have blown my first shot on that gunner commander there. Looks like we... We um, had her in a state of aggro that allowed us to keep on sneak attack critting, which is great. Alright, we'll knock out all those turrets, and we'll pull a cheeky reload around the corner, and see if we can't draw out any more gunners to one shot there. Unfortunately, didn't get that one shot there, but there we go. Okay, despite firing an unsuppressed um, revolver, we're still being quite sneaky there, and looking through the scope, we still get... A f yeah, about five shots with that in bats. If I miscounted, I'm a fucking idiot. But yeah, looks like we're doing pretty good with this. If we switch to the snubby version, we should get a little bit more. I mean, we would have got more if we had a full bats bar there, but yeah, whatever. Okay, there's Captain Bridget. We're going to need to burn all of our action points to kill her, as well as all of our crits. 
So, in terms of uh, things you'd find in the vanilla game, this thing can still actually be kind of viable in um, a very hard difficulty, which is great. It might be outpaced by the 44 Magnum, but again, um, this mod makes it super easy to um, actually grab this gun and its ammo there, so if you factor that in, then sure, this thing's doing just fine. Okay, let's see if we can get a collat here. Nope, I just um, spazzed out with that. Oh, we did get a collat too. Nice. Ooh, we got it twice in a row. I didn't even plan for that to happen. If I would have planned for that to happen, I'm sure it would have gone badly. So it looks like we can aim right at the top of that little notch there to actually zero in those headshots. This gunner is playing very nicely with me at the moment, just lining up, sitting still for those headshots, which is great. I think I disarmed her because now she's going the knuckle. That was a really bad idea. Looks like the gunners aren't um, full up on brains this time around. Okay. Now we'll just pop this gunner in the head. She doesn't really care, to be honest. She's stuck in the animation where she's chilling while she's being shot in the head. If anything's Fallout, then that is Fallout these days. Thank you, Todd Howard. Okay, we'll quickly wrap out the rest of them now. We'll switch back to the scope one for more precision shooting. Basic. Oh, there's a gunner conscript. Look, she looks so skinny without their combat armor. Feels bad. She's just a weak and fear aversion. Okay, you set still, would ya? There we go. So, um, the enemy's behavior is definitely helping us out a little bit now because they keen, they're they keen to be um, not really um, jumping and dancing around like they usually are. They're just keen to sit still, and if they can sit still, obviously you can get a lot better um, damage with this because you can line up those headshots properly, so that's interesting. Okay, we'll go ahead and switch to our snubby one, and we'll cheaply finish this gun off and bats whilst we build up some more of them criticals. Come on, any time now. While we're young, there we go. Alright, we'll just quickly finish this. If you haven't um, been able to tell, I'm still a little bit ill, but I'm persevering. I haven't coughed my guts up during a recording yet, so I think I'm doing just fine. Just like the free, uh, the 357 Colt Python there. As actually, it's a surprising weapon. I didn't actually expect to like it as much as I did, but here I am with egg on my face. Good day. Alright, we'll move on to something else. Okay, so I think we're going to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to clear out the outside of Dunwich Borers, which means these raiders, and then we're going to proceed inside and exterminate some of the ghoulies in there. So let's start with these bloody turrets, wherever they may be, because I like killing turrets first, because they're easy to hit, because they don't move on you. Although, saying that I should probably shot that raider veteran first while she wasn't moving. Oh well. Oh well, we managed to get that kill there, and using the scope on this, we're actually able to extend our range a little bit, and hopefully hit these guns there. I may have just missed, I'm pretty sure my aim was true there. Not sure what's going on, we'll move a little bit closer now and see if we can get that hit in. There we go, much better. Okay, we might be punching a little bit outside this thing's effective range to where the bullets actually stop existing. I don't know what happened there, maybe I'm just an idiot with my aim today. Okay. There we go, got an arm shot on you, I believe, and blew the second. We'll pick. Yep, yeah, okay. They're getting close, and I can even tell them try to taunt me. So, uh, yeah, you can just die. I missed. I got him that time, but there's no sound for the gun. Basically, oh, so the sound of the gun is actually pretty good. I'm gonna just be quiet for a second so you can actually hear it. No suppressors on this one. Yeah, take that turret. Alright, we might as well avoid that grenade because having your gut strewn about the place probably isn't a good way to go. And that was the holy breath button for a scope thing, but I wasn't scoped in properly apparently. Because I had iron sights instead of a scope. Alright, so we'll quickly try to finish off this veteran here. Seems to be more of a match for the Colt Pyth than these are lower level raiders here. And since you're up in my grill, I'm going to use your face to get more criticals. There we go, we get a nice cinematic shot of that, and then we get a kill there, and we'll quickly finish off that turret, who surprisingly wasn't shooting at me. Usually turrets are um, pretty switched on when it comes to targeting the player. Alright, we'll quickly knock your head off, or as much as you can with a 357 Magnum. I'm pretty sure they're quite small, to be honest. They never did too much damage in New Vegas. Oh, sorry, that's the power armor dude, so yeah, we might as well uh, pop another crit in his face. Her face looks like it's a woman in that power armor. Well, not anymore. She is now dead. 
And how much does that leave us now? Okay, looks like we're fighting a survivalist there. Yeah, we'll use the crit there and one shot her too. So obviously this thing with use of that is going to be very good if you've got a high luck build as well. So yeah, ticking all the boxes here despite being a revolver. Must be opposites there. Don't think this is a particularly long cell to be honest. Although it's a pretty decent place for testing the weapons that aren't quite top tier but still are alright. I'd still use a 44 Magnum out of the vanilla game or Western Revolver from the Nuka World DLC over this simply because it does a little bit better damage. But if you're especially attached to the Colt Python and you want to get this mod, you're not going to be missing out on too much damage there. So it could still be viable. Obviously, if. Oh, I don't have my Acrobats gear on me. That's a shame. But yes. Obviously, if you're playing on lesser difficulties, you're going to have an easier time than me with this weapon, simply because Bethesda doesn't make any everything um, tanky and bullet spongy on other difficulties. So, yeah, that's nice. Alright, well, we'll just pop you in the head twice. I'm noticing after the um, animation of this thing fire, the, um, the crosshair seems to jump a little bit to the side a little bit. Maybe that's just when I follow up shots quickly, but yeah, it's just... Maybe looking at it in post, it won't be the case, but that's just what it feels like right now. This is the right direction to go, so we'll quickly follow that. And considering that we haven't got two acrobat bits, we have to actually use the stairs like a pleb. Okay, so there's usually a couple of raiders down here. That's a veteran and a survivalist. We'll take out the veteran, and whilst this one leisurely gets up, we'll go ahead and pop her in the head just twice. There we go. Quite a skill cannon this thing is, very nice. And yes, I may have broke my legs just again. Okay, now it's time for the ghoulies in here. You can notice that this room is filled with gas when you turn on this circuit breaker. Ghouls will spawn, can I turn that back off? Yes, I like turning it back off, because that means you're super stealthy. So what have we got? Gangrenous, withered, and do we have any up here? Nope, this looks to be a nice spot to start off. Now. Ghouls are a little bit hard to hit because they're really, really twitchy, but um, unlike um, humanoid enemies, or I guess they are humanoid, but regular human enemies and super mutants, they're not really that tanky. You can do pretty well on these guys, and their perception is lower because their um, brains are rotted by radiation. Yeah, that'd probably make you a little bit stupid, wouldn't it? Okay, so for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure that one detected me. We'll just finish him off in bats there, and we've got another crit ready to go. And we'll head through these sections here, which should be pitch black, but we've got cool night vision and, I don't know, advanced institute optics. Looks like a couple of these guys have spawned already. That one's friendly for some reason. Bit of screen shake for no reason. Ah, that's because they've um, come behind me, but that's okay. Um, we've got and we've got personal shielding on us, and um, we won't get scraped to death by giant um, ghouly claws because being torn apart by ferals probably isn't the best way to go. Just ask McCready's wife or whatever. Alright, so now that they're in a close range, we might as well just use the um, Iron Sight versions. And did I turn this on already? This one decided to sleep through all of it, so uh, good on you, mate. You've earned yourself a 357 effortlessly to the face. And we'll go to Krem's tooth section. There's a couple more ghoulies in here. And why not? So, yep, these ones are sleeping. You can usually tell which ones are sleeping even without vats because they're always lying in the same sort of position. See, they've sort of the um, recovery position for if anyone's doing the first aid course there. That's what it kind of looks like. But yeah, I don't think there's many other... We'll bash you to death, by the way. I don't think there's many other positions where they actually sleep in. But again, vats usually helps you do that. Now these are where the name ghoul lives, and it looks like I haven't actually cleared out this place before properly on this character, so we actually get to kill the named ghouls. good -o. Okay, with some easy headshots here, with some cheeky um, hip fire shots. Also, I just realised while there was screen shake before, this place is unstable. We'll go for a crit on Tim Shoots. There we go. And that appears to be everything. Be quiet, phone. And yep. So, there you have it, that was uh, the 357 Colt Python revolver there, and you know what, I actually enjoyed using this thing, it may not be the most powerful handgun I've ever used, but I've um, sort of adapted my playstyle to fit this thing accordingly. Oh no, you're not getting away mate. There we go. And according to this, we're not completely done yet, that leads up to nowhere, don't go that way. Oh no, I'm lost. 
All right, one last feral ghoul. I think that should be all of them. Actually, we can get some to spawn if we turn on this light. That's only a basic feral ghoul, so let's just kill him nice and easily. And according to the detection meter, there's something else out there, but I'm guessing they're going to escape their fate of death there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to leave that feral ghoul suffering, apparently, which is not ideal, but whatever. It's a video game thing, so um, I'm not too cut up about it. But there you go. There oh, there you are. Okay, we cleaned them up properly this time. And we'll turn this on. And what have we got? You know what? I hate being in group chats because you get all these notifications. You think it's something important, but no, it's just people in a group. Also, we can one-shot these gangrenous ones, which is pretty great there. Alright. Those guys are like one step off um, the charred ghouls, which are the best, or uh, the strongest variants of ghouls in this game. So yeah, that's pretty good. And there we go. Managed to kill that guy with some funky camera tactics there. I wasn't actually aiming at him, but the barrel was right next to him. And I guess the game says, yeah, all right, we'll get you the kill there. And through the Skyrim door, we are officially done with Dunwich Borers there. And I will do my outro for the third and last time here. If you'd like to see me do more of Dunwich Borers, shut the fuck up, phone. Yes, if you'd like to see me do more Dunwich Borers, then be sure to let me know because, yeah, this cell is kind of fresh and I don't usually exterminate feral ghouls. So, yeah, that's another thing to um, uh, pump my BOS-ness up, I suppose. And if you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out that description there. I actually highly recommend this thing, even though I've said I've hated revolvers in the past there. And, ooh, I like that shadowy effect. That's nice. Does it disappear in first person? Yes, it does. Okay, thank you, Todd Howard. And thank you for watching, guys.